Hello, my name is Mark, and I'm going to show you the 1U rack extension, the PSDN CV envelope generator. It is a dual six stage nonlinear envelope generator. The two envelopes can be linked together, and each uh, ramp can be curved individually. So let me just dive in and show you its features, starting with the envelopes. There's a basic on off sync that toggles between free and sync lengths. Uh, the free lengths go up to 31.5 seconds, midway is about 1.6 something seconds, and goes all the way down to instant. The sync lengths uh, are at the middle at one half, go all the way up to 32 bars, and all the way down to instant. Each envelope can be looped and inverted, and there is a level control for each. Now these are lamps that show which stage is active. So attack, decay, release. Uh, right now it's not hitting sustain, but if I pull this down, it will hit sustain. This is a gate indicator. Uh, it is being driven with this matrix via the back panel. So this actually shows um, both gate inputs here and here. Uh, let's see. Each envelope has a curve section that has a common curve function and a common curve shape. Now most of that curve shape is not showing up on the video. The curve shapes are applied to each ramp using these use curve buttons. Uh, these curve amounts basically apply this function to the ramp. So let me just make it an attack and release ramp envelope. To the right Positive values means uh, a fast increase then that slows down. To the left means slow and then fast. This is regardless of which function is chosen. The functions are basically a couple linear functions, uh, a couple x to the n's, a couple logs, and a receiver operating characteristic curve, which is an equal curve. It's easier just to see what that does than to try to explain it. Now each ramp has, like I said, a curve amount, so one for the attack, decay, and release, and it also has a midpoint amount that works in a similar fashion, but applies either uh, the horizontal or vertical midpoint, which is chosen with this direction here. So let me apply a shape of, the simple shape of S-curve. Actually, I'll show you what the double does first without the midpoint. See, it repeats. Now, if I do S curve, it's going to invert the second relative to the first. If I did a negative amount, it will pause in the middle, and then I can show you what these midpoints do for these. That's with the midpoint direction on, so it hits the middle quickly and then takes its time on the second part. or vice versa. Okay, so let's just leave that going. Now let me show you the linked envelope features. Like I said, these are both identical envelopes. I'll go ahead and make this one looping. Here is the link menu, the start and the end point. I'll choose the simple one. Link A is going to add the second envelope to the first. Now the link start can be freely chosen along with the end. The screen light says that uh, the link is actually active. If I chose the same or before, like if the end is before the start, then that red arrow light is going to show up and the link will not be active. So I'll go ahead and launch this from the very beginning. Do a rapid loop. So right now this is releasing after, the second is releasing after the first releases, but I can have it release here. Let's say it releases at the sustain. So it'll loop up until it hits sustain and then it'll stop and release. Uh, the link B scales 
sorry, it actually normalizes the, the total output to this level. So that way I can have them both all the way up and it won't, so to speak, clip the envelope output. This will actually control the overall level. There's also the scaling, link output scaling knob here. That scales uh, what's added to the first, which in this case is the second envelope, uh, according to the the level or the current output level. Not actually the uh, the knob, but the the output here. So if that is negative, and this is all the way up at the top. At the very top, it's going to do very little. And then as it goes lower, it's going to do more. And I can make the reverse true also. There is a gate velocity knob that just, uh, in this case, it's being driven by a matrix. So if I turn this up quite a bit and did this, it would generate a very low envelope. And negative just does the reverse. This polyphony menu has to do with uh, how it's re-triggered according to polyphonic notes, but let me get to that in a second. Uh, let's see, the rest of these up here are the on-off button, overall on-off, overall graphics, which has no effect on the actual output, it just turns off all the graphics. The frames per second, which is going to be relative to the settings of the uh, audio, the audio card settings and your computer hardware, etc. Um, and there is a help menu right here that most of it is not showing up, but if you ever are confused, you can just click on that and it it describes each feature. Okay, so the other thing on the front panel would be the mods. With the mods, you can hook up anything to anything else. Uh, there's a lot of sources here which range from each envelope's output, uh, this link output, each of the stages, whether it's on or off, um, etc. And then this is the destination, which can be the first envelope, the second envelope, both envelopes, or both but wired up parallel and individually. So if I chose a bank here of the, uh, the first two CV inputs, and chose that to enable, this is the amount by the way, positive or negative, up to 200%. Then it would apply the first CV input to the first envelope and the second CV input to the second envelope. Let me flip over to the back now. On the back side, these are the mod inputs. There are two banks for a total of eight. Underneath is an extra link, but actually let me back up and show you the simpler stuff first. So there are two gate inputs for each envelope. As I said, they show up here. There is a stage gate output for each stage of each envelope so that when, let's say, this attack is lit up and the sustain is lit up, these would output this level amount while they are on and then turn off when they're off. There is a purple toggle and knob here that makes the done stage uh, optionally limited with the same type of lengths that the front panel has. Normally that just turns on whenever the envelope is off. Each envelope has four outputs and these outputs have a bipolar and invert toggle next to them. The bipolar turns the top two outputs into bipolar instead of unipolar and the invert turns the right two outputs uh, into an inverted signal relative to the front. So if the front is inverted and then this is inverted, these two will be normal. So this way you can have different versions of the same envelope for different devices, different purposes. And if they're both on, the top one will be uh, a combination of the two, and the lower left one will not be either. Uh, so same thing over here, plus this has these green toggles that rewire uh, the inputs and outputs to the first envelope or the linked envelope. So when an envelope is linked, the main output, the second adds to this, so the main output is coming out of the first envelope. So this would give me a total of four gate inputs in the back, 
This would give me an extra stage out for each, and this would give me another four outputs for the total linked envelope. Uh, the extra link, let me turn that on. It looks like the front one, it has a active and an error light. And there are two outputs here. So basically this is made for triggering other envelope generators or modding other devices. It shows up on the front in yellow. And this green toggle makes it, uh, puts it on the first envelope. Right now it's overlapping with the main link, so that one shows up orange. All right, so there are two outputs for that. And you can, uh, you can have up to four additional outputs for anything on here. Uh, you can wire them up individually in pairs or all at once by using these mods. So these mods have the, the, uh, the last menu, this parameter menu has a special section, uh, or rather special entry for those two outs. Uh, it also has an add to and an add to scaled, which will add anything to, uh, to either envelope. The add scaled will use this scaled knob to scale that uh, CV value to the like the output level of what it's being added to, in the same way that that works for the linked envelopes. And finally, there is a DR shape direction, which flips the shape direction for the decay and release ramps. Uh, and there is also a help menu back here, if you get confused. Okay, let me scroll up here to a combinator that I've already made. The, uh, the programmer, this is crucial, if you want to use notes, uh, you want to receive notes, like drive it via sequencer, drive it via matrix. By default, these do not accept notes. But with the programmer, you click on it and hit this checkbox and it'll receive notes. So right now, I only have the top PSDN, ENV receiving notes, and it's going to trigger the other two and add the other two to the first one. So let me start this. Okay, so right now, this this envelope right here is being triggered by the main link. This device here, the entire envelope, is being triggered by uh, the attack ramp. So rather than using a link, I'm just using one of these stage gate outputs. So while the attack ramp is on, this is going to be adding to it. And once it moves past the attack, it will be released. This one... keyboard's having problems. This one is hooked up to the extra link on the first one, which goes from attack to release. Both of these have outputs going into the CV inputs here, and they're wired up on the front panel here uh, using the add scaled option. The, this one is actually using a, adding a positive amount, and this one is subtracting this amount. So this final output here is a combination of a total of five envelopes, one of which is being looped. And I could easily do some weird things, like make a couple of them inverted. I could even add that. Etc. Um, as you can see, these used shapes are being used to uh, only shape these two ramps, but leave the, the other ramps alone. Uh, and these use some of the more complicated shapes. But it's really just subdivisions of the ramp into two, three, or four uh, subdivisions, and then applying, in this case, it's the uh, this amount, nothing, that amount, and then the negation of that amount. So it would be that. So there's a lot of options in there that aren't all that useful, but... Um, there are a few that are, and I just decided to list all of them, up to four subdivisions. Uh, and this is the note on right here, right next to the little note symbol. So that's about it. Um, try it out. Let me know if you have any ideas for functions to add, etc. 
and have fun.